The tires on a broken down wheelchair have finally been repaired for a disabled Knoxville man. Will Roberts depends on his chair to get around, but the tires were shredding and he was frustrated after waiting more than a month for new parts. Out of desperation, he called six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare, who got in touch with the supply company. Don? Well, Bo, we contacted the business directly after our first interview with Mr. Roberts. Will has a genetic disorder called hereditary spastic paraplegia, or HSP. Because of the disorder, he can't walk. And his expensive chair was nearly impossible to wheel around. So he placed an order for new tires in July. Five weeks later, they finally arrived. Will Roberts no longer has trouble with his wheelchair. He has new wheels. The 37-year-old permanently disabled former government worker is finally able to maneuver his four-year-old chair with ease. Will received his chair from New Motion of Knoxville. The corporate company is considered one of the nation's leading providers of mobility devices and repairs. His chair is a quickie model, one of the most popular customized chairs manufactured by Sunrise Medical. The cost paid by Medicare and Medicaid for Will's chair was $16,000 four years ago. This is his original receipt. When we first met, Will showed us how the casing on the right tire of his chair had split, exposing the inner tube. And right now we have regular zip ties holding the rubber in place. This isn't the only part of the wheel that is exposed. There's a whole other part back here. Holy yeah. smokes, it's all coming apart in the back too, isn't it? Yeah, see, and there's no zip ties there yet, but that just came apart this morning. You're also having trouble on this wheel? I am. The left wheel, if you can see, is splitting down the middle, but nothing for some reason has come apart as of yet, but it is splitting. Will said New Motion knew about the problems on July 24th, but a month later, the parts had not arrived. We visited the Knoxville office two weeks ago and asked about the delay. A few days later, the new parts arrived on August 28th. The next day, New Motion sent a repairman to fix the chair's tires and armrests that were coming apart. Overall, it took them about six hours. Six hours? Six hours. It was a little more complex. The rubber had to go in the casing, then he had to stretch it over the wheel. He was great, though. I mean, he really was. He told me he was not leaving until he got the job done. I can actually roll around, spin in circles. I'm not worried about falling backwards anymore. It's fantastic. I love it. I see you have new armrests as well. I, I do. Much more comfortable. It's no longer ripping apart. There was foam falling in the floor before and ripping apart, but now it's a solid piece. The charge for parts and labor to fix the chair was $863. That's crazy. Just for two wheels and two armrests. So why did it take so long for the parts to arrive from the manufacturer? We'll ask that question. According to New Motion, um, the manufacturer was dragging its feet, um, who was Sunrise, I believe. With the new tires, the chair's brake system now holds. Now you're rolling again. Now I'm rolling. I'm actually spinning in circles. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> now, Will says he hopes the tires and armrests on his expensive wheelchair hold up a little bit longer this time. He received the chair just short of four years ago. Under Medicare and Medicare rules, he's eligible for a new wheelchair every five years. He says with the new parts on his present chair, he likely will not need a new one for quite a while. And we're glad we could help out, Bo. Good to see he's getting around a lot easier, that is for sure. Don, thank you. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare.wat.com. You can also give him a call, 865-633-6923.